Okay, it's seven o'clock. We're about 10 minutes away from the conference and we wanted to give us enough time to get there. Last year, traffic was crazy and we're not trying to get to opening ceremony. We just want to get there in time for the first class. Well, this time we're going country roads. Yeah, Last time true. we went on a divided highway that you had to cross the two lanes of oncoming traffic with no traffic control, it's no uh, police officer directing traffic. And we waited to make that left-hand turn for miles standing yeah, still. So this time back roads, we should like get right in there. Well, that's the goal. <laughs> so we have food. We bought some apples from a local farmer's market while we they were, were here. Good. Yeah, they're really good. So we've got Tasty apples. Breakfast. We have granola bars. We have homegrown, home dehydrated pears, almonds, cashews, granola bars. And so we have food in case we're not able to get lunch there. Last year, they only had one food truck. So we just ate what we brought and then we went to a really nice dinner after. So we are drinking our coffee from yesterday. If you watched yesterday's <laughs> vlog, our Airbnb does not have a Keurig or any way to make coffee. So we just picked up some coffee and we put it in the refrigerator and nuked it this morning. Yeah. So if we can, if we have time, we'll stop and get some co fresh coffee. But I think we're going to get fresh coffee once we get there because there was coffee. There was like a, a really nice yeah. family that did baking uh, pastries baked goods. and stuff. Oh, yummy, yummy stuff. So we'll get a hot cup of coffee once we get in there. And so we'll just take you along and... I'm really excited. It was so much fun. It was one yeah. of the most fun uh, events. It was certainly fun. wasn't a con convention style convention, like when you're in a hotel. And, no, no, no. And you're... <laughs> no. It was really fun. Yeah. It was really fun. The vendors were, the, the vendor booths were very um, interesting. Lots of really cool stuff. Met an am amazing people. Yep. Met absolutely amazing people. So we've got this country road we're going to drive down. We got to put in the address. We are only seven miles away from the venue, and we'll see you there. The conference this year was so well organized. It was smooth sailing from our Airbnb. We had a beautiful drive, and we got right in and we made it to opening ceremonies. After that really beautiful opening ceremony, we went straight to our first class. This was on weed prevention in the garden, and I learned so much. I am so excited about what I've learned at this conference. To be honest, my mom and I only made it to about two or three classes because we were hanging out with you all most of the time, but I have access to the replay, and you can too if you want to become a member. I can link it down below because I do want to take the time to listen to a bunch of the classes that I wasn't able to miss because I had more fun hanging out with you and wanting to be present and enjoying looking at all the vendors that were there as well. Now, these are called soil blocks and I've considered getting these. I have seen these on tons of videos on YouTube and it was really cool to see a demonstration on them. I can link them down below if you're interested and I, I'm really considering trying this next year Basically, you have your seed starting medium, you get it wet, and you have this soil block. And the benefit of using a soil block, and they come in these three different sizes, I probably would only get the small and medium, is that you put your seed in it, and then as the seedling grows, when you transplant it, you can just take this mini seed block, and you don't disrupt the roots, and you can literally just plop it right in the bigger seed block. And then once you're ready to plant it in the ground, you can take that whole block and plant that whole block in the ground. And the idea being is that you really reduce the risk of 
seedling transplant shock. So if any of you guys have used that, would you guys let me know how it went for you? Because I'm seriously considering that. And then this man also had these really cool seed seeding squares and, and it was just really fun to see this vendor here. Here is a homeschool homestead type curriculum that is super fun. Look at these letter cards. So instead of it being traditional, K is for kite, it's K is for kefir, E is for elderberry instead of elephant, D is for duckling. And I thought this was really cute how these were letter cards that were homestead related. N is for nesting box. How fun is that? Last year when we were at the homestead conference, I purchased a bunch of these wooden these are handcrafted wooden kitchen utensils and I love them. You see them in my videos all the time. So I did have to check this vendor out again. This pole that my mom's holding is what you use to you open a, or pull out an oven rack that's hot. And I didn't need any of these things this year, but I had to go ahead and check them out. Now look at this beautiful ginger. This farm is Peace and Harmony Farm, and she grows all her own ginger and turmeric that she uses in her different tonics and fire ciders and tinctures and syrups. And she gave me some really good growing advice. Basically, what I did last year was all wrong. If you watched my ginger turmeric harvest, I got a little bit, but it was a pretty sad harvest. I did buy some of this turmeric ginger tonic and it has honey in it and it tasted absolutely delicious she gave us a sample i will link her down below if you're interested because she sells all of this stuff online and it was so good and i'm so excited to have it and maybe next year we will be making our own with our own homegrown now that i have some tips and tricks up my sleeve that she was willing to share with me now you all, well, I don't know if you know, but I've talked about it in the past that I want to find a better makeup company because my makeup is just cheap from Walmart and I know that I can do better. So this is a makeup company and I've talked to the husband and wife about the story behind this makeup. It's all organic. It has beautiful ingredients and it's just really cool story of how they were able to come up with this company because of one of their kids' serious skin allergies and so my mom and I, we took some time and we had fun. They had all these different samples so we could test our colors. And I've also talked about aluminum and baking soda. And they had some aluminum free deodorant. Apparently aluminum is linked with Alzheimer's and it can build up in the brain. So I thought, you know what, let's go ahead and give this makeup and deodorant a try. I bought one for me and one for Josh and I can link them down in the description box as well. They are a husband and wife couple that started this company and it is a really cool company. I'm really excited that I found them. I have yet to use that. I brought it home and we are gonna use it and see how it goes. But my mom has been using it since she bought it and she's absolutely loving it. She has said that she every time she puts lipstick on, I'm not a lipstick wearer, but every time she puts lipstick on, she's always wondering what is she putting on her lips. And now she knows because the ingredients are listed. They're beautiful ingredients. And I'm really excited to find a better makeup company. Now, those were just some fun alpacas and some fun shirts. I'm not big of a t-shirt wearer, but I really enjoyed looking at all these different shirts that this vendor had that were homestead related. One of them was butter makes everything better. And you know, I probably should have bought that t-shirt, but I did not. And then we did go listen to Jill Winger. You have to listen to her. She is fantastic. You all know who she is. She's got a beautiful podcast and YouTube channel and cookbook. And she is an inspiration to us all. And that was really exciting getting to hear her speak. I did not get to hear her speak live last year when I was here. I will do a whole HOA haul of all the goodies that I purchased at the HOA conference at the end. And I just had a fun time with my mom shopping. This is the kind of shopping I like to do. I like to either be antiquing, thrifting, or shopping and buying things that people have made with their own two hands as opposed to going to the mall. The mall is honestly the last place I would ever want to be. And really being good. here has been just such a blast being able to look at all the fun handcrafted and also seeing all these 
family run businesses. Not all of the vendors here are making their actual products, but this is seeds for generations. I grew a lot of their seeds in my garden last year. I can link them down below and just seeing all the family businesses because most of the different companies and vendors that we saw here are family owned US based companies. And it was really fun to kind of get to know some of them and hear their stories and see what inspired them to start their businesses because obviously they are very passionate about what they're doing. And I just, I love learning about business and hearing people's stories. Well, good morning, friends. The first day of HOA went awesome without a hitch and it was great. Then after the first day of the conference, we went to dinner with some really good friends to a Mexican restaurant that we actually ate at with them last year, some friends that I had met here. And it was really nice. This morning has already been an adventure. My mom and I were starting to feel some allergies. You can maybe hear it in my nose. We were, the last class we were in was in a barn and it was very dusty. And I'm allergic to horses and I think there was probably horses in, in this arena. And so my allergies kind of kicked up. So we decided to sleep in this morning, which was nice, and not go to the opening ceremony and get there for the second class. <laughs> well, I come out. I'm still working on uploading a video for you so you can watch a video today. And it's taking a while. And my mom locked the car keys in the house and the house keys in the house. This Airbnb, I've called the owner five or six times I've called five or six locksmiths and we haven't gotten anything so my mom is going and getting a the neighbor to see if he has either a key or a ladder and we can try to break in so we're gonna see if we can break in to this house because we can't get a hold of the owner the neighbors here were amazing and he was so nice he brought a ladder he was so dedicated to helping us get into this house we really wanted to try to get our keys so that we could make it to day two of the HOA conference. We had such a good time day one. We didn't really want to miss out. So my mom attempts to open every single window and she's able to open one window. But the problem with this window is it's so high up and there's no chair on the other side. So even if she could get in there, I don't know how she would get down. <laughs> so... We thought, you know what, mom, probably better that you don't try to attempt to crawl through this window. Let's see if we can find some other windows that are open. And so we decided to go around the back because, well, this is her attempting. And yeah, no, let's not do that. <laughs> we did open up the sliding glass door. You saw we went and we toured around the back. And so we thought maybe we didn't lock it. So this was our second attempt was to try to get up over this back deck and get into the sliding glass door. Good job, mom. I know. <laughs> well, that was a bust. We locked the sliding glass door. Now, this morning, we went through, and I know that we had unlocked the bathroom window because I had opened it because I was getting a little toasty when I was straightening my hair. So this is the bathroom window, and this probably is our best luck if we can get into this bathroom because it would be pretty easy to climb through this window and be able to get through the window and get on the floor without breaking a neck. But unfortunately, we are too good and we went ahead and we locked this before we left. So we made sure that we had this place secure before we left, which means we were not getting into this house through breaking in through a window. Well, that was an adventure. <laughs> we could not get in. It is locked up tight, which is crazy because that bathroom window, we had it open this morning. And then my mom closed and locked it too. So the owner's calling me, so let me take this. That was a locksmith that just called, but the owner called also and he's gonna come and bring us a key. I feel really bad because he lives an hour and 15 minutes away. And he said, cause I was like, do you have another hidden key? One of the things about this 
Airbnb that I thought was weird from the beginning is there was no keypad. I've only ever seen Airbnbs where there's a keypad and there's not one here. It's just a key that he had hidden under the map. And so I was like, maybe he has another key hidden somewhere and I just need to get a hold of him in order to find it. And he said he just took it. So the poor guy has to drive an hour and 15 minutes to unlock us, which is not the end of the world. It is a bummer because we are going to get to the conference pretty late and we have not had any coffee this morning yet. And so we're just going to hang here for an hour and 15 minutes while we wait. I need to edit a video, which I'm not going to waste this time. I have time to edit. So I'm just going to hang here and edit. My mom's on the phone with my dad out there and we're just going to make the best of it. We got in the house. We have the keys. It is now noon. <laughs> I got a video edited. My video uploading is at 92%. We're driving down the driveway right now. We are going to go get some coffee <laughs> first. We have not had any coffee no. today. And we missed one of the classes I wanted to go to, but that's okay. I can listen to the replay and we will then make the one, one o'clock class, the composting class that I want to get to. So oh, that should, would be a good one. We should have time to go ahead and get there. So even though it was not ideal to sit in the car for an hour and a half, we were productive. My mom took a nap, I think. Yeah, and mostly. I got some work done. So now we're driving down this really wooded road. I will show you what this road looks like to get to the house. It's pretty intense. And then we it's will... It's quite bumpy. Yeah. It's really beautiful out here though. Definitely a mountain cabin. Yeah. I would be a little nervous, especially here um, in the winter. In the winter. Because yeah. it's a pretty intense... You can, you can see how bumpy yeah. it is. Road. The internet is non-existent at our Airbnb, so I have been pairing my laptop with my phone and it's taken me three days to get my video to 93% and that is why I'm saying that it was taking a long time before my video to upload. And I've said it before and I'll say it again, this is one beautiful part of the country. We just got here and my video is still only uploaded to 93%. So it might be the first time in one year that I haven't had a video come out every other day, which will be okay. Last year, I became full-time doing YouTube right before we came to the Homesteaders of America conference. And ever since then, I've been doing a video every other day. And that might not be the case today, but that's okay. Hopefully I'll get it out to you tomorrow. Let's go. We got the keys. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go to the fairgrounds. We didn't want to waste any more time going and getting coffee, so we picked up some coffee at the fairgrounds. They were out of creamer, so we decided, hey, let's make it into a mocha. So we just put a little bit of cocoa powder in it, and we made it to our worm composting class, which was great. And then we did get some ice cream, and basically for the rest of the day, we just hung out with you all before we called it a day at the HOA conference. We just left and now we are on our way back to that coffee shop we went to the second day we were here because it was so cozy Very and nice. nice. And we thought we would just go hang out there for a little bit and um, I will try to get that video out for you today if we can. And maybe the internet will be a little bit better, but we just stopped at a, what are these called? An antique store. Yeah, and a bunch of people we talked to said, obviously, antiquing here is really good because... Stuff is old. Stuff is old! <laughs> <laughs> it's well, some of the furniture in our cottage oh, is yeah. very old. It's it very old. similar chairs to what my grandma had. A wooden frame chair. Yeah. Straight up back chair. And uh, leather cushion, leather seat, and a leather back. I don't know what style that is, but there was two of them like that. That my grandma had like that in her living room yeah so we thought we were just driving and there's an antique store with a bunch of really cool like yard furniture which obviously we can't get but we might find some treasures inside so we just pulled over we're gonna see what we can see inside One thing I really like to look for when I am antiquing or thrifting is original artwork. And this painting was only $35. It's an original piece of artwork. 
I don't know who the artist is, but I thought it was so cool and I'm kind of regretting not buying it, but I was thinking that's going to be something I'm going to have to carry through the airport. So I left it behind. A cool thing, a bunch of cool things actually they had in this antique store are these wooden chairs. I don't know if these chairs have a specific name or style to them, but when Josh and I have been looking at furniture stores, like new furniture stores, we have seen replications of these styles of chairs and they're super like popular right now. And it was cool to see original ones of them. Obviously we couldn't, you know, purchase anything like that while we're over across the country, but it was fun to look. And one thing that I also enjoy to look at, not just artwork, but I really have a thing for fun, barware, cool cups, cool martini glasses, and different cocktail glasses and things. And I also like brass candlesticks. My mom is an avid quilter and sewer, and she found this really nice, good quality, old, totally metal sewing machine. And I found a bunch of brass candlesticks. We didn't end up buying anything, but we certainly had fun looking in this store. I have this set of dishes. You did? I did. Is that Corel? Mm -hmm. They have a nice, uh, they have a lot of the bowls left. When did you have those? Uh, college. Hmm. I would say one of the highlights of this store, I guess, was all the vintage furniture. They had a very, very, very good selection of vintage furniture, couches and chairs. And I'll show you a few more of those chairs I was talking about. I, I'm assuming these chairs have some sort of name where they're a um, wooden chair and they kind of have, I don't even know how to describe it, but these are really popular in today's furniture stores. Josh and I have kind of put off furniture shopping for now because we have so many other things going on, but eventually we are going to have to find some furniture that fits our new house. And I just had fun looking around. We probably spent about an hour in here just perusing and seeing all the fun different things we could look at. I like looking at old random things, I guess. What did you say? <laughs> Those kind of shops all smell the same. Yeah. There was a lot of cool furniture in there. There was some cool furniture. Very cool, like mid-century modern type stuff. They had stuff. the wooden folding chairs yeah. that are so much nicer than Costco The cheap plastic ones. Plastic so off to the coffee shop for us. We got on the Wi-Fi and look at that. 100% and it's processing. taken me three days to get it from zero to 96 percent or night what were we 93 percent in a matter of less than four minutes yes. we have it up so now it's processing it has to run its checks and you guys are gonna get your video only about and 45 minutes late we had about an hour before we were meeting some friends for dinner so i sat and did some editing again and just really enjoyed the time relaxing, decompressing, and I just want to say a huge thank you to every single one of you who took time to come and hang out with me at the conference. You are what made the conference for me, and it was so much fun. I am so grateful to have this beautiful community and that you are a part of this amazing community. Oh yeah, that is a big hanging basket. So we're heading to dinner now. We're gonna go meet some friends. We got a, a tea because my throat's been a little bit sore because coffee of for tomorrow. some allergies. <laughs> and we got coffee for tomorrow because we are gonna go visit a friend tomorrow. And I'm really excited about that. We'll see if- And we have to leave early in the morning and we're a long way from a coffee shop and we have a long drive. Yeah. So there is a microwave so we can be <laughs> nuking our coffee and sip coffee on the way where there is a will there is a way <laughs> we will make do we will have coffee in the morning all right we're gonna go ahead to dinner it's gonna be good on this night we had dinner in winchester and this building right here this gray and stone building is george washington's office how cool is that the history here is incredible if we were here for longer it would be cool to spend some time in washington dc and do some of the sightseeing but i'm just grateful we got to see george washington's office how cool was that we are all packed up we my mom just got the last of the dishes washed up i just nuked my coffee 
And we are gonna go ahead and get some breakfast. We're gonna go to that same coffee shop, trusted and true. And we're just gonna relax there for a little bit and then we're gonna go ahead to meet some friends. And I'm excited about that. It's a little heavier than when I came. <laughs> all packed up we're gonna go ahead to breakfast we do have some snacks that we had bought we've got our apples and some water from that farm stand that we bought our apples from so we're gonna probably enjoy that this morning as well this little cabin has been a great Airbnb when we got locked out the owner was so gracious he drove an hour and 15 minutes to rescue us and you know it was our fault it was a bummer he didn't have a hide a key I'm sure that won't happen again. It was my fault because I locked the door. <laughs> it's okay. Becky was already out, so I thought she had the key. I know. <laughs> it worked out just fine. And so we are going to say goodbye to our cabin. It was nice. It was, oh, I left the lights on in there. Well, I still have to get you the key. It was wonderful. It was great. It was so much more comfortable than a hotel. And I'm just really glad that we were able to find this little treasure. It is time to say goodbye to our sweet Airbnb. We are so grateful that we had this beautiful and cozy place to stay. It was wonderful. And we are going to go ahead and meet someone that I have admired on YouTube for a long time. And I've referenced her in my channel before. She lives in Virginia. I wonder if you all can guess who she is. And I'm just grateful that she wanted to hang out with me and we're going to spend some time together. But before we do that, we're going to button up this Airbnb. We are going to go get some breakfast and we have a little bit of a drive in order to get to her house. So here we go. I'm excited to enjoy this morning. It's beautiful. It's cold. It feels like fall. It's still 80 degrees where we live and it was about 40 degrees this morning. Three. Our coffee shop is closed, which is totally fine. It's good to try new things, so we're gonna go to the other coffee shop. Sometimes it's good when your best laid plans go awry because it forced us to go to this other coffee shop, which I had researched this one as well, and we were planning to go to this one first when we first got into town, but we couldn't find it. It was only a block and a half away from the other one. And I'm really glad that we had the opportunity to come to this one as well. This was Coffee on Main, and this is in Front Royal. And they had some really delicious food. We got a really good coffee. Both my mom and I just got some drip coffee, and we also ordered some breakfast. The breakfast here was phenomenal. I would definitely come back here again. And we both got different breakfast burritos and they were just absolutely delicious. Breakfast burritos are probably one of my new favorite things after we did those breakfast freezer meals together. And I still need to do that. You all saw my grocery haul where I bought some of the ingredients to do it. We just haven't gotten around to doing it. And this was a good reminder that it needs to be done. I can't help but enjoy looking at all this beautiful architecture and this was some old churches on this area. There was about four old churches right next to each other, and they were just absolutely beautiful. And coming up next, you will see whose beautiful kitchen we are in. I cannot believe we, my mom and I got to spend the morning with this beautiful lady. Jay Morell is amazing. I have watched her for many, many years, and it was just an honor to spend time in her kitchen chatting and hanging out for the entire morning. It was wonderful. And thank you, Jane Morell, for inviting us over and showing us your goats and your cow, your chickens and your pigs. It was so fun. And you did a fantastic job remodeling that kitchen. It's absolutely stunning. So after a wonderful morning hanging out with Jane Morell, we headed back to the airport in order to fly back to home. And I'm really excited to be home. Alrighty friends, we made it through security and we are at our gate. We had a wonderful day. We went and hung out with our friend. It was fun. And we spent a couple hours there. That was really nice. So by the time we got through security, we picked up 
some food, they are already boarding our flight. And so we're just gonna wait and eat once we get up in the air and we get settled. We're gonna be more relaxed that way. Yeah. And we've had a great time. We've had some a delicious food, but I do have to say, I am ready for some home cooked food. <laughs> Four days of eating really delicious, decadent food it just makes you really appreciate going home and having some simple, delicious cooking. Yes. Yep, so they're already boarding uh, group one or group four. We're in the back of the plane, so it's going to be a while. So we're just going to sit here, kind of catch our breath, relax and then we'll get on the flight and then we're gonna head home. And I'm really excited to see Josh and my family. And I just wanna say thank you to everyone who came up and said hi at the HOA conference. By far the best part of the conference. I can listen to all the replays. And so if you're interested in the HOA conference, I can link it down below. If you don't have to go, they have recorded all of the conference. And I think it takes a few days before they actually have those live. So if you want to still listen to all the classes, you're more than welcome. So, but by far the actual experience of being there is hanging out with you. And I just want to say thank you to everyone who came up and said hi to me. I really appreciated it. It was by far the best part. It was fun meeting people we met last year. Yeah. That was really fun. It and was. The classes were really good. We watched one on worms. Yeah. And you know what I did? I dreamt about worms. <laughs> Yes, she did. So we will see you I might have to do worms. when we are back in Portland. <laughs>